So today in my hand, I hold the mothership of parcels. That's right, I did a Zara order. Now, I went on their website the other day and it's always the case where it's just one thing and you're like, I'm just gonna order one thing. And then you see something else, you're like, oh, but that's cute. Oh, but that's quite cute too. Oh, but actually, let me have a look at this top that I saw on this blogger that I follow from two weeks ago and see if it's still online. And before you know it, you've spent far too much money and ordered pretty much half the store. <laughs> Oops. So, I thought I would show you what I picked up at Zara because I am doing a bit of shopping at the moment for lots of like isolation outfits. I really want to still be looking good whilst I'm at home and wear things that make me feel good um, and kind of keep to like spring trends and everything like that because that's what I like to do. I really like to still look good whilst I'm at home even if I'm not going out or like going anywhere. Um, and also it means that my wardrobe is kind of ready for summer when we do roll into those warmer months. So let's jump into the Zara order. I absolutely love just their packaging, I just love it, it makes me so happy. Okay, so the first thing to show you is this gorgeous pair of wide leg cream coloured trousers. Now I obviously will be doing try-ons in the cutaways um, so you can see what they look like on. But these trousers are absolutely stunning. I'm so, so obsessed with how they look. If you've been following me, you would have seen I'm so obsessed with like linen and wide leg trousers at the moment. I've not stopped wearing them. When I saw these online, I was like, I need these in my wardrobe. They're this stunning stone colour. Um, so they're not like, they're not cream, they're not beige, they're kind of like this off-white stone kind of colour and they're absolutely stunning. I really, really love how they look. They aren't stretchy, is the only thing, but I think that's okay when you go for something like wide leg trousers. I usually go a little bit oversized and I have them a bit looser so they're still really comfy to wear even if they aren't like a stretchy fabric. And um, the only thing is going to be the length on me. Um, so I always get questions about this in my videos. I am five foot exactly and I'm a size 10 and 12 on bottom. Um, so very petite, <laughs> very short. Um, and these kinds of trousers usually are very long on me, but sometimes it can kind of look like you cool, like you're going for the like oversized trend kind of vibe. And then sometimes it's like, did you just put your boyfriend's trousers on? Um, so if they are too long, I could always get them altered. I do that quite a lot with trousers that I really, really like. Um, but we'll try them on and see what they look like. I really, really love how they feel. Um, so I'm really excited to try these on. Okay, these trousers round my waist fit absolutely perfectly. I really, really love how these look. But lengthwise, oh, I'm really tripped over. Um, they're a little bit long. So I think these are the kind of things I would actually be willing to get taken up. I know a really good seamstress, um, and she does like loads of things. Um, she did my prom dress I think she did my graduation outfit so she's absolutely fabulous and very very affordable so I think I wouldn't be against getting these taken up but I love how they look I think they are really really flattering around like my waist and my bum and that is really hard to come by the trousers like if you look here normally I have a massive gap but actually they fit really nicely around my waist. So size wise as well, I pick these trousers up in a medium, which is kind of like my usual size on bottom. I'm usually like a 12 on bottom, um, and I usually go for like a 12 slash a medium, and they fit really, really well. So I definitely say these are very true to size, which is absolutely fabulous. And they are really soft, like really soft. So I definitely think I'm gonna keep them, but I will say if you are short like me, lengthwise they're not gonna fit you. Let me, um, I'm just going to shove on a pair of heels. Yeah, even with a pair of heels on, they're still far too long. So I'm definitely going to have to get these taken up if I want to wear them outside. But to be perfectly honest, whilst I'm around the flat, I don't really care if they're that long. I mean, it's not like they're going to get grubby or anything. Um, the only thing is that I might trip over my own feet. But <laughs> they are really, really cute. And I would definitely recommend them, especially if you are a lot taller than me. And they will fit you in lengthwise. 100% would recommend. So the next thing that I picked up is going to be really difficult to show you because it's actually a set. So I'm just going to show you one at a time. But it's this stunning kind of like mint green crop top and 
cardigan set and I'm absolutely in love with these kind of sets at the moment. I really, really love how they look. I think they are just so cute and so easy to wear that like you literally just shove on the top in cardigan like a pair of comfy trousers, wide leg trousers if you want and you're good to go. Um, so it's this stunning like mint green colour. I really love the buttons on this cardigan. They're like this kind of... Um, mother of pearl almost style which i think is really really cute um the fabric is actually a bit thicker than i was expecting but it feels good quality um like it doesn't feel too heavy it just feels like it's really really well made and i love 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 the ribbed crop top now this is something i personally probably wouldn't wear by itself it's not particularly my style i'm not like the biggest crop top girl but to style it up with the cardigan i think looks really really cute and then obviously you can mix and match so you can wear the cardigan with other pieces and let's be honest mint green is so in right now so it's going to be very easy to style for spring okay so let's chat about the cohort i am in love with how this looks i think this is just the cutest thing ever and one thing i will say about this crop top is it makes me look like I have a very big bust. And I can tell you now, I don't have the biggest bust in the world. Like, I don't have pancakes, but I don't have a huge bust. And the fact that the crop top makes it look like I do, I'm kind of here for. So, yeah, I really, really love the cardigan. The sleeves actually fit really well on me. Um, and that's something I do sometimes struggle with, like, longer sleeved things. Is that because I obviously have shorter arms, sometimes they can come, like, way over my hands and I have to, like, roll them up. But if you look, actually, these sleeves fit really, really well, which is absolutely fabulous. And it's really, really comfortable and soft. So, yeah, I'm very happy with how this cord looks. And I think you could even, if you wanted to, do the cardigan up and tuck it into a pair of trousers and that can be an outfit in itself and then you can also wear the cardigan with like loads of other things i think this would be a really cute thing to throw over a cute dress like if you have like white or like black dresses and you want to add a pop of color i think that would look really really nice so i'm very happy with how this cohort looks as much as i said that i'm not much of a crop top girl we have a few crop tops in this haul now this is this stunning hot pink crop top it's the same kind of material as the mint green cardigan and crop top but it has this stunning bow detail that comes over the front now this is going to be really difficult to show you kind of here um but hopefully in the cutaway you'll be able to see much more clearly how it looks on i saw this on the website and i was like that is the cutest thing i've ever seen i cannot leave that on the website i need to put that in my basket so i picked it up and i just think it's absolutely adorable now i realize i've forgotten to go through sizes i'm going to go through sizes in the cutaway um of what i'm wearing just so that you know which size to pick up um depending on you know if you're like a similar body size to me because i know it's always really helpful for me when i see where youtubers talk about their sizes and like what size they picked up because especially with zara can be a little bit hit or miss um with sizings so yeah i'll talk about that in the cutaways um but this crop is just the cutest thing in the world i think with a pair of high-waisted trousers and maybe like a blazer or something thrown over the top would look really really cool so i love this okay guys i'm not gonna lie to you i'm really not vibing with this top it looked really cute online and it's just a little bit weird in person. I've been really struggling with how to do this bow because they have like this massive gorgeous bow. Um, and I think you're supposed to tie it around the back because if you just tie it straight to the front then these bits like come in weird. Um, I don't know, maybe if I'd gone up a size, I got this in a medium as well. So the same size as the other one. I'm trying to find this up the back now. Um, but I don't know if it's just that the bow's not long enough, like they don't lengthen the bow according to size. I'm not really sure. But I'm just not feeling this one. I don't think it's cute. And we have another crop top. <laughs> okay, so Zara seemed to be um, changing me into a crop top kind of a gal. But this is the cutest thing I've ever, ever seen. I love, love, love lilac at the moment. If you guys have been following me for a little bit, or even if you've been following me for a week, I don't think you can scroll down two posts on my Instagram or on my YouTube without some kind of lilac thing popping up. It's just the color of the season and I cannot stop wearing it. I'm so, so obsessed with how lilac looks. I think it's a really, really cute color. It just screams spring to me. And I have a quite neutral color palette normally. I mean, you wouldn't know that from this haul because I've actually gone really colorful. I'm quite proud of myself. Um, but I think lilac goes really well with like a neutral color palette. It goes so well with blacks and whites and beiges and it just adds that little pop of spring. So this is a gorgeous knitted crop top with this stunning embroidery detail. Now, I'm not sure how well you can see that. But it's got this gorgeous, like, 
pattern going down of these flowers with the knitted detail and I just think it is the cutest thing ever. I really really love these kind of square necklines on me. I think they're so so flattering. Personally as someone who doesn't have like the broadest shoulders sometimes like tops on me can make me just look a little bit hunched over and I find a square neckline just kind of like opens me up and makes me look a little bit like broader but not in a bad sense. So I really really love these square necklines and these thick straps I think look really really cute and I can't wait to try this on. I think this is going to be such a staple in my wardrobe for spring. Okay, this crop top I absolutely love. I think it's really, really cute and really, really spring-like. I will say one thing is it is very cropped. Like, the, if I wasn't wearing high-waisted trousers, you'd see pretty much my entire belly. But to be perfectly honest, when do I ever not wear high-waisted trousers? So I guess that that's okay. Um, but I just think it's really, really flattering. I went for a small in this one. And I probably could have sized up to a medium. Um, I struggle a lot with crop tops with what size to get. Um, mainly because I don't want it to be like too baggy and especially as I have such a short torso if I had gone for a medium it might have come a little bit lower and not looked as flattering um, so yeah I think I'm happy with the size um, and I just love 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 the kind of like embroidery and the knitted detail on it I think it looks really really cute and especially with these trousers I think it looks really cool so I'm very happy with this top this one's definitely staying so the next thing that I picked up is another cohort. So this is gonna be really difficult to show you in itself. Um, so you'll be able to see what it looks like in the cutaway, but it's this gorgeous strappy cami top and this stunning kind of like slinky trousers. Now I saw this online and I was like, that is stunning. I love how it looked paired together. I think it's really, really cute. The kind of like khaki green is really my vibe. I love khaki. I think it's just such a gorgeous color. And this is much more of like a muted khaki. It's almost brown. Um, it's like so, so dark khaki, which I just think actually looks really, really cute. And it's something, if you're not into the kind of like really girly spring pastel colors, this is a gorgeous color to go for for spring. It's really, really easy to style and very versatile. So one thing I loved about this cohort is that you can wear it so many different ways. I mean, I could wear this top with like jeans or a skirt or cute trousers. And these trousers are gonna be very easy to style with like shirts and t-shirts and tops. So I can wear these together as a cohort and they'll look really, really cute, but I can also wear them separately, which is exactly the kind of thing that I like to go for. Um, things that are really versatile and can be changed up in my wardrobe. So I'm very excited to try this on and see how it looks. Again, the big issue is going to be the trousers on me, seeing the length and how well they fit. But I think if I was to wear this together, it does look like a bit more of a dressy outfit. So I could get away with wearing heels with this kind of an outfit. So if they are a little bit long, but I can like wear them with heels, then that's okay with me that's quite common and actually I kind of like it because it makes me look a little bit taller um but yeah I really like how this cord looks okay let's talk about this cord now the trou let's start with the trousers because I love the trousers they are very very flattering and really really comfy they have an elasticated waistband so they fit really nicely on my waist and like my bum and everything like that and actually lengthwise they're okay like I could actually wear these out without getting them altered or having to wear heels or anything like that. Um, so I'm very happy about that. The fact that the length fits me perfectly, great. The top, now I'm just gonna come over closer so you can see. I have no idea what is going on with this top. This is weird. This neckline is just not flattering. Um, I tried it on with my bra first and my bra was like coming up over. So I was like, okay, let's try it on without the bra. Maybe it needs no bra. And I'm just really confused as to what's going on. It's not flattering in the slightest. It's like, it doesn't sit nicely. It doesn't come in at my waist. And this, like, these spaghetti straps, it's just not cute. So the top's gonna go, but the trousers, I think, are gonna stay because I do really like how these look. And I think I can style these up with a lot of different outfits in my wardrobe. So, something that is much more in line with my usual colour palette, a pair of neutral trousers. Now, I'm trying to fill my wardrobe with much more suitable trousers for isolation so like comfy trousers trousers with a stretchy waistband but still look very work appropriate and still look very kind of like not dressy but they still look like you're not wearing your pajamas um so i picked up this pair of gorgeous stone colored trousers and what i love about them is they have a stretchy back i think zara trousers do this quite a lot actually where they have like smarter trousers that are actually really comfortable and they have the back bit that is like stretchy so I really love how these look. They are absolutely stunning. I love the kind of like 
classic feature of them and the um what is this called the like lapel the lapel the crease that goes down the leg i find that really really flattering and i think it makes trousers look a lot more expensive than they were i mean these trousers were only 29.99 which i think they look a lot more expensive than that and these are the kind of trousers that even when we're out of isolation they're the kind of thing i would wear all the time they are really really easy to start up you can wear them with a pair of trainers and a plain white tee for like an everyday look and then if you wanted to dress them up for like meetings you can wear a shirt and a pair of heels or if you wanted to wear them out even like a really cute black top and a pair of boots and a cute bag like they are just so so versatile which I absolutely love and I think these trousers are really going to become a staple in my wardrobe okay <laughs> let's talk about these trousers now I am in love with how these look fit wise they are actually perfect again they fit really really nicely on my waist the fact that it's an elastic case to waistband I definitely think helps um, but it means that, like on my bum and stuff it's really flattering and on my legs one thing I do find with cigarette trousers is sometimes I can struggle a little bit with my legs. I have thunder thighs and proud. <laughs> I'm massive, massive thighs. Um, so I do sometimes struggle to find trousers that aren't like too tight on my legs. And these are really, really flattering and fit really, really well. And lengthwise, they actually fit perfectly. Like they're even a little bit cropped. So that's one thing to know. If you are a bit taller, they will be very cropped on you. So it's depending on the kind of like... The style that you like and the vibe that you're going for so i picked the trousers up in a medium and i think they fit perfectly i think 90 percent of this haul is in a medium and i think that is just my kind of like core size in zara um and then if anything fluctuates then you know that it's the sizing and not you um but yeah so medium and they fit absolutely perfectly i'm obsessed with these they are so flattering really cute and definitely staying on my wardrobe on to the last item now i have seen pink pieces everywhere on my feet at the moment and i think it's such a difficult color to style up it can quite easily look very like whimsical and girly and that's not really my kind of vibe i prefer like more neutrals and kind of like classic cuts and classic styles with maybe a few trend pieces thrown in there when I saw these pink trousers online, I was like, that is the kind of pink I've had my eye on for ages. So I love how these look. They aren't a stretchy waistband, but they are like wide leg. Um, and I really, really like how they look. They're kind of this collot style. But to be perfectly honest, I think on me they're going to be full length. That's kind of what I was hoping for. I saw them on the model and I thought that would look really cute as like a full length wide leg trouser so we'll try them on and see what they look like but i just think they are such a cute color of pink and they can really easily be styled up with a lot of pieces in my wardrobe pink goes really well with neutrals it's quite similar to lilac in the sense that like it can be paired really well with like beiges and whites and neutral colours. So I find that it fits really well into my wardrobe. And it's that piece that I can wear that like just really brings a bit of something something to an outfit. Um, and adds a pop of spring and something that brings it more into the current season. I mean obviously spring we're all about the pastels and the colours. And I don't want to just have a really boring colour palette. So I want to like bring some more colourful pieces into my wardrobe. Hence why this haul is so colourful. I'm actually really proud of myself with how colourful this haul is but i think these trousers are absolutely gorgeous i can't wait to try them on and see what they look like on these trousers i think are going to be my new obsession you know how much i've worn those lilac trousers on my feed get ready to see these pink ones just as much these are absolutely stunning i predicted it right they come down like full length on me they don't touch the floor or anything but they just look like full length wide leg trousers so if you are taller they will be cropped on you but on me they are full length but i absolutely love how they look they've got pockets which is just ideal and they're really really flattering the only thing is that obviously because it's not stretchy waist it's not like as comfortable as maybe the beige trousers which have got like a really stretchy waist but i still do love them nonetheless i think they are very very flattering and again fit me really well like the fact that the bum and the waist and the hips all fit is very unusual for me so i think zara 10 out of 10 for your trouser game at the minute these are also in a medium i think pretty much like the entire haul is a medium um but i really really love how these look these are a definite staple in my wardrobe and the last thing that i picked up is this gorgeous tank top now everyone will have known the zara bodysuits everybody talks about them all the time and i have a few in my wardrobe that i absolutely love but to be perfectly honest i don't find bodysuits the most comfortable thing to wear especially like when I'm at home and I just want to be really, really comfy, 
I mean, they give me a bit of a wedgie sometimes and that's like not the vibe I'm going for. So I saw these and they are made of the same material as the Zara bodysuits. Um, and I actually already own one in black, which I really like and I wear all the time. So I wanted to pick it up in white um, just to see how it would look on. And it actually has this really cool like panel detail. I don't know how well you can see that. Basically, it's got this panel, which I think will hold you in, and it means you don't have to wear a bra, which is pretty ideal for me. I mean, I'm not really a bra kind of a gal, especially when I'm at home. So if I can wear something that means that I don't have to wear a bra, I am all for it. Um, so yeah, it's an absolutely gorgeous tank top and really, really silky soft and such an easy thing to style for spring. I think this is the kind of thing that you could literally wear with anything, with the wide leg trousers or with jeans or with linen trousers or a skirt. It would look really really cute so this is an absolute classic and a serious staple that i love to have in my wardrobe okay i love the tank top i think it looks absolutely stunning it's such a classic piece that you can style up with almost anything there's a helicopter going past i'm very sorry <laughs> i love this top it's so gorgeous you can style it up with anything in your wardrobe it's a really really easy thing to style up. i think with just a pair of like shorts or a cute skirt throw a blazer over the top for something a bit more smart you could style this up so many different ways. And I picked this top up in a medium as well, um, which I think fits really, really well. I'm pretty sure I got the black one in my wardrobe in a small. Um, and that fits well, but it is fairly tight and the kind of straps are a bit tighter. What I do quite like about this is it is quite wide. Um, and personally, I like that on me. I think some people find that a bit unflattering, but I personally think it looks really, really good. It hides the rolls a little bit. <laughs> the fact that it comes out quite far. I hate it when they come in a little bit too close and you have this like massive roll around your arms. Um, but yeah, so this was a medium and it fits really well. One thing I will say though, is that in the black one, you can't see the little, I think you can see it a bit better here, where the line is, um, where it's kind of like double lined around your boobage area. Um, you can't see it in the black one, you can see it a little bit in the white one. Um, so it's whether that bothers you, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, the fact that I don't have to wear a bra is a ideal situation for me. So I'd rather have like a little line showing on my ribs and no bra than have no line and have to wear a bra. Okay guys, so those are all of the pieces that I picked up at Zara recently. I think they're absolutely killing the game at Fort Spring. I always love Zara at Fort Spring Summer. I think in autumn, winter, it's not quite my vibe, but like when spring, summer rolls around, I just cannot get myself off of their website. I am obsessed. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your favorite pieces that I picked up down below. I always love hearing your comments. And if you are new here, I would absolutely love it if you subscribed and came and join us for more videos. Actually, my next video is a very exciting one and it's going to be my dressing room makeover. So please be sure you're subscribed so you can be the first to know when that goes live. I'm so excited for that to be going up on my channel. It's been like two weeks in the making and I am not a patient person and so I have just been desperate to get this finished the fact that it is now ready for you guys to view I'm going to be uploading it on Sunday so make sure you subscribe for that and I will see you guys there